breaking out in the streets of Egypt over the recent re-election results. The country is set to hold a runoff election next month. That was expected. But some demonstrators say they are very unhappy with both of the options on that ticket. One is the former prime minister under ousted President Hakim Mubarak. So sort of the old guard on one side of that election ticket. The other is the Muslim Brotherhood's candidate. Lila Vitt streaming live from Cairo. So why are nobody's too happy with the outcome of this on either side, it seems, Lila? Exactly, Martha. The entire middle of the Egyptian popular spectrum and the political spectrum have largely been left out without a presidential choice. It was described to me by one Egyptian as the old Arabic saying, which translates, we have two choices. They are both sour. In Tahir Square last night, thousands of young revolutionaries came out to protest. They said they do not like Ahmed Shafiq, the former member of the Mubarak regime. And at the same time, they certainly do not want the Muslim Brotherhood, who is going to base the Egyptian state on Islamic law. Many fear that they will then institute an Islamic state here in Egypt. And with a lot of secular young people here, that is certainly not something that is popular. More protests planned in Tahrir Square to see Martha. That raises all kinds of concerns as well about uh, what, how the situation could evolve from here. Exactly. And just to give you an idea of how ugly this could get, we just returned today from the campaign headquarters of Ahmed Shafiq. Last night, a number of vandals broke in and burned down the garage where they were keeping all the campaign posters and flyers and all those kinds of things. Also vandalized inside those campaign headquarters. The question here, though, right now in Egypt is, was that an inside job to try and garner sympathy? Or perhaps was that a warning from the Muslim Brotherhood going out and saying, all right, this is what's going to happen if Shafiq indeed wins. There's a lot of people here in Egypt who are very, very nervous, Martha, just to give you an idea of how uncertain the future is here. Since the news of who was going to be in this runoff election for next month came out, the Egyptian stock market is down 7%. Back to you. Well, there was so much hope and promise uh, during the Arab Spring, and now the messy business of electing a new leader. Leland, thank you very much.